G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with Mags and as you can see I'm in a much better mood today. So today's episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance is going to be slightly different to the ones that I've done in the past. It's actually going to contain a lot of post commentary along with bits and pieces of live commentary and this is largely because I spent a lot of time in this place. A lot of time, so I'm going to need to chop this down pretty seriously because uh, this place really, really nearly did my head in. So anyways, I did have a good night's sleep before continuing on at this part, and as you can see, I have been released from my imprisonment. And I did find myself a lockpick. Now, to be fair, I did actually kind of cheat here. Um, I did notice in the comments section of the last video a lot of people were talking about that lockpick, but I actually noticed it before then. I noticed it in the editing process for the last video. This is one of the side effects of doing my own editing. It means that I watch everything that I do twice and usually pick up on all of the things that I missed during the initial playthrough. But anyways, I grabbed the lockpick and moved on with my day. Now I have made a couple of decisions here as well. At the end of the last video I was, no word of a lie, I was very, very pissed off and quite frankly ready to murder every single person in this entire monastery. I have however put my homicidal tendencies aside for the moment, but we'll talk more about that in just a second because I'm about to discover something interesting. My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. Are you here of your own free will, or is this a punishment? <laughs> oh, this is a punishment, so all right. Important. Welcome to purgatory. Did you say purgatory? Yeah, this is more like hell. You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Oh, no, no, I get it. I get it. All right. Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Interesting. Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate tell to think of it. all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also because I really hate the question, aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, a lot fell on me. Okay, so you're I'm not no my head target. I managing the estate, and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. That is interesting. So we now know that he is not the target. But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg alms by the city gate. I had one choice, the monastery or nothing. If it had come to that after my father's death, so be it. But to get rid of me while he's still alive? I must have figured out you robbed them. They must them. have realized you robbed them. <laughs> I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder? Indeed so. Where? What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver and run off somewhere, far, far away from here. That's all I wanted to know. Please, keep it to yourself. Especially the part about the coin. Fair enough. I want to know where that is anyway. How is it that you get no penance for missing mass? How is it that you don't get any penance for missing morning prayers? I've paid off the circators to turn a blind eye. Oh, really? And the other monks don't notice as long as you show your face there from time to time. No one's too awake at that time of the morning. So the circators take bribes. I'm still curious bribes. about this treasure trove of yours. It's no big terrible secret. Really, it isn't. I just go and read during services. There's no time otherwise. I mean, at other times, I don't get to read what I like. 
And I keep it under the slab so the others don't find it. Under the slab? What kind of a book is it? I found it here in the library. It was on a shelf where it should never have been. So I hid it to read later. It's the Necronomicon. Ghosts, oh. demons, and invocations of powers beyond our world. Only it's written in a strange language that I can't really make sense of. All bara this and bara that. I want that. Who knows what it means? I tried to count the syllables, read the words backwards, but nothing. I'm not getting anywhere with it. I really oh. want that. I'm not too sure what the prior or the cicada would say about a book like that. Actually, what anyone would say. It sounds quite prohibited. Oh, yes, it does. Ah, prejudice. But you're right. It is prohibited. For no good reason, though. Has knowledge ever done anybody any harm? Yes, but I actually kind of agree with you. Um... You're right. Knowledge should never be prohibited. Oh, I'm glad you That's agree. That's the right answer. Cool. Just take a look at the book. Maybe you'll be able to make some sense of it. I haven't grasped a single syllable. I most certainly Just will. please don't tell anyone about the book. If the brothers learn that I took it from the library and hid it, I'll be in a lot of trouble. Our brothers' minds are closed to a thirst for knowledge. I'll leave you be. Don't worry, I won't follow you again. Thank you. And please, Gregor, don't mention it to anyone. That will do. Well, that is very, very, very interesting. Indeed, it is very, very interesting. So what we just found out then is Siskin is not our target. He also has a substantial stash of silver somewhere hidden around the monastery. And he has a copy of the Necronomicon, which I want. Now, it was that conversation that actually started getting me thinking about maybe not murdering everybody here and starting to do this right, because there's clearly some stuff around this place that I want to collect. Now, for the record, that doesn't mean I'm not going to kill any of the monks here. In fact, we just found a good reason for me to kill at least some of them, and that is the cicadas. They're taking bribes. Now, my Henry isn't a wanton murderer, so I don't want to play him as one. But having this place turn him into a holy dispenser of justice via steel, a man who punishes the sinner, Warhammer 40k style, yeah, I can get behind that. I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you I'm are? sure. Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Why? Will you tell me something about yourself? Guy, there's nothing I can tell you. Really? I mean, Why? where are you from? What sort of life you had before? That sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Why won't you tell me anything? Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I, I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Hmm. So again, another interesting conversation. This one with Lucas, who doesn't appear to want to talk about his recent past, which is um, almost as curious as the teleporting monk in front of me there. Remember, the person we're after, Pius, he was abandoned until recently and has just slipped inside of the monastery as a means of cover or a means to escape being killed. So Lucas not wanting to talk about his past was definitely interesting. Now, I couldn't be bothered waiting around after dinner, and I have a fresh lockpick, and at the moment, everybody's having an eat, so I wanted to start putting that lockpick to use. Now, the one thing that is going to be really fun with staying in this place, since I've uh, now got access to the lockpick, this is going to do wonders for my stealth and my lockpicking skills. 
Seriously, my only regret at this point in time is that I didn't spend more time working on my pickpocketing skills, because if I'd worked on that and had that reasonably high as well, this place would be easy. In fact, my later playthrough that I'm going to do of this, because I'm going to do another playthrough of this once I've completed here, I don't know whether or not it's going to go on channel or not, but it's one that I definitely want to do. I want to play through a pure light armor version of Henry, focusing on things like uh, alchemy for poisons, the bow and arrow... Daggers and stealth kills, uh, pickpocketing, lockpicking, just purely focusing on all of the, the darker skills. And what I want to try and do is maximize those very, very, very early in the game and see exactly how it changes the way the game plays. But anyways, while I have just received my timer to actually go to work, I still have a couple of doors that I want to pick open here. So there was this one first, I wasn't sure what was behind it. Although I should have been able to guess. This is the prison. And it's actually in a fantastic spot. I think this is probably going to be a pretty good place to start storing some bodies in the uh, very near future. So, that's rather convenient. However, it isn't the only thing in the basement here that I want to unlock. There's actually two other locked items. There's the back door here. Now, it's a very hard lock, and I don't know where it leads, so I didn't want to pop that one open straight away, because I run the risk of breaking the lock. I am capable of doing very hard locks, though. And then I wanted to do this one, which is full of silver goblets and glass goblets and golden goblets, with some very nice value behind them. And that's when it occurred to me that uh, if I can get a way to easily get outside of the monastery, in addition to you know being able to kill whoever I want and complete the mission and escape easily, the monastery may be interested in doing a donation towards my town, since I haven't been able to collect goods while I've been completing this mission. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. But first things first, Brother Nevelis. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. Alright, so I'm here for daily duties. Tell me about yourself. Can I somehow get you help you get elected as abbot? Um, no, no. We'll do daily duties I'm here first. To work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find yes, ingredients yes, yes. in the I chests know where it is. next to it. Today's task: two copper Again? potions. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done, so I can check them. Fair enough. What would you like? All right, so first things first, let's hand in our potions. I finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be teaching the other novices. Yeah, well, not in the way that you think. Um, not done talking to you yet, actually. What troubles you? All right. Is there any way I could help you get elected? Somehow tip the scales in your favor? What would you like to do? Climb up the tower and shout, Vote for Nevelis, vote for Nevelis? Not exactly. You do have an opponent, John. John isn't my opponent, he's my brother. Just like you and everyone else here. We're all brothers in Christ. But there is something you could help me with. You must know there's a great deal of iniquity here in the monastery. I'd be interested to hear of anything I don't know about. Should I find out for you what's going on around here? Let me make this clear. I want to base my candidacy on putting things in order. But if I don't know exactly what's wrong, then my promises are just empty slogans. Very good, then. I'll find out what I can. Thank you, brother. Fair enough. So he's not necessarily asking me to sabotage anybody's campaign. And so we have another mission around the monastery now. We need to find out what dastardly deeds are going on around the monastery and report them all in. And we actually already know about a couple of them. First things first, we know about the Necronomicon. Except I'm not going to report that one because I want that book for myself. I'm going to be leaving this monastery with that book. End of discussion. The second one is that one of the cicadas is taking bribes. Now... Of course, that's a big no-no, but I'm actually curious at this point about whether or not there's anything else about the cicadas that I can find out about. And if there is, 
Well, I really don't like the cicadas. They're the ones that locked me in prison. And if they happen to be doing things that are against the church and are sinful, and I'm playing a bit of a holy crusader because this place is sending me a little insane, ruining their reputation before smiting them may be a fun idea. But anyways, moving on Let's in the try. day, and we are now up in the library. And once again, I'm exactly the same task as last time. We Excellent. get given a book. I've been waiting for you. We have to try and work out how to translate it. And I'm actually kind of getting good at it at this point. It's um, it's really just a process of elimination. Looking at the different layers of text, there is usually only one that matches up. But you've got to sort of look at it from start to finish. Once you do that, yeah, it's easy to work out which one to pick. And once again, here I get all three right. And that scratching sound that they've picked for the, the nib of the pen on the paper is still one of the most annoying sounds in this game. So, with the parchment complete, we hand it in, and then it's just a matter of working out what we're going to do next. Well done, brother. No mistakes. And that one's actually going to be rather easy to work out. We're going to have to sneak out of here, and that is simply because there is nothing else to do in this room. You only get one text to transcribe. You can't ask him for a second one. Where you can make additional potions in the alchemy lab, you can't do anything else in here. And you can't read any of the books either. It would be fine to read the books for a couple of hours and get your reading skill boosted up. Except taking any of the books off the shelf is theft. And you'll be punished for that if anybody sees it. And you're in a room surrounded by monks who are probably going to see it. So, getting the hell out of here and having a look around, probably a good opportunity. Although I admit, whistling for my horse as I came down the stairs is probably not the stealthiest thing that I could have done. Anyways, one of the cicadas is just going past. And while I would love to do something about him... My goal here is to try and find a way out of this place and also to see if I can find any more information on exactly who our target is. Now, why everybody else, and that actually scared the hell out of me when he spotted him, I was not expecting anyone to be up here, but thankfully he wasn't a cicada, so I didn't get reported. Um, while everybody else is down and away from this room, I thought I'd take the opportunity to come in and pop all the locks in here. Not the cleanest lockpick I've ever done. Hoping we can find some more information. What we ended up finding is another torn piece of thing. So I'm up to 6 of 10 at this point. So I'm going to wind up completing this thing just out of the process of uh, hunting around, trying to find all the information that I need to actually take somebody out here. Also, completing all of these chests is bonus lockpicking points, and there are a lot of chests in here to pick. Sadly, most of what you find inside the chest is exactly the same as what you find inside of the locked cupboards, so they only exist as points to lockpick to boost your skills and to distract you and increase your chances of being detected and potentially caught. Now the other thing that I was keeping in mind while I was wandering around this place is the slab. Siskin mentioned the slab that he keeps the Necronomicon underneath. The problem is, I don't know what slab he's talking about in here. So I'm checking all of the stonework as I'm running through. I assume it has to be somewhere in the dormitory, but I don't know where it could potentially be. These dried fruit piles was actually a running theme through the entirety of the dorm. Apparently, it's not allowed for brothers to collect or hoard food like this. It's apparently a very bad thing, and yet most of them seem to be doing it. Although it was when I finally got up to this chest that I got really interested. First, a lockpicking point, which is always nice. What do we have here? A nice sharp dagger. Now what would a monk need that for? Couldn't have said it better myself, Henry. So with that, we finally have the means to perform proper stealth kills. Now, while we can kill without the dagger, 
it's simple enough to grab them, knock them out, and then snap their necks after they've been knocked out. You can just go straight for the kill, and it is faster if you have access to the dagger. So that speeds things up and reduces the chance that we're going to get detected during the deed. It's also a little bit quieter as well. Once again, more dried fruit. And that was pretty much the end of my time upstairs. There's nothing else to pick. We found the item that we needed. We now have the dagger. What I don't have, however, is a means of getting outside, so that is what I went searching for next. Now, that door in the basement may possibly lead either outside or into the catacombs below the monastery. So if we can get access through that door, we should be able to find our way outside. Now, if I can find the way outside, I can get access to my supplies from my horse, and I can also start trafficking some of the goods out. Unfortunately, that happened. And that's a problem. I need another lockpick. YouTuber my content is for adults you can. So after some rather relaxing nightly chanting and the evening meal, it was time to move on with the evening's festivities. And of course, the primary goal of the evening is to get another lockpick so we can get some of the doors leading outside what open. What would you like? I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? It annoys me how I've got to go through this same song and dance I'm every for single picks. time. Lock picks. You know I'm about to intimidate What's it to you. you. Peace, brother. There's no need to get all worked up. So you heard I used to be a bird. I don't care about your life story. I Give me the fucking behind picks. me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lock picks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat. I've got and food. You can have your lock picks. Just get. Can't say fairer than that, can I? God damn it! All right. So I've got everything here that I could possibly collect. Yeah, I have the potions too, I don't care. Um. Alright, so we're on 18.5. One, pock, uh, one pick is 16, and then we get 2.2. Ridiculous pricing to be able to get these picks. But there we go. Problem solved. We now have a pick. While we're at it. Alright, more goblets to s liberate later on. Fair enough. So, so far so good. We have another lockpick, and I took the time to do a little bit of reading, although I did listen around the courtyard before I went upstairs to do a little reading, and picked up that one of the cicadas likes to pray late at night. That could be useful. Now, the book that we were reading I actually found in the Alchemy Lab, and it's increased my vitality by reading it, which is a great bonus. But the main reason we were actually reading that book was to wait for everybody to go to bed. I want another crack at that downstairs door. But I need to make sure I know where everybody is, and it's so much easier if everyone happens to all be in bed when I'm going for a bit of a wander. Now my first stop of the night was the downstairs basement, because I wanted another crack at that big door at the end. If I can get it open and it happens to lead outside, or it happens to lead into the tunnels, that would be ideal. Not what I actually found though. You've seen us drinking here, so either join in or swear okay. you won't tell us all. You wouldn't want to end up like Lucas now, would you? end up like Lucas. Um, 
no, I'm not going to drink with you, but I'm going to tell you I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to drink with you, but I promise I won't say a word to anyone. You youngsters have got no backbone. Still, remember what you promised. One word about this and we'll make your life hell. And if you ever decide you want to have some fun after all, you know where to find us. Really? Now, who are you? Ah, down the hatch. Every golden trace, isn't that the truth? Cicada no John. With our throats going dry all day. And Strival. We have the honor to bring some Rhine wine. I'm losing my taste. So, they're taking bribes. Okay, so one of them isn't. But um, those two, and I, I think John's the other one that's in the market for the, um, like for the election too. So that is very interesting. And so ends the mystery of who was getting pissed downstairs. It was Cicadas, and in particular, Cicada John, the, uh, the guy that's actually in the running for the election, is downstairs getting smashed on the holy wine. So we're going to have a little fun with that, but... We're back in the dining room. Now, you might wonder, why are we back here? But I figured the kitchens, well, they're completely not allowed for you to access. See, going inside, you get marked as trespassing. It's not like the other areas where you are neglecting your duties. You're straight up not allowed in here. So that means there's got to be something in here that's useful. Or at the very least, there's going to be access to a lot of food, which I can use to trade for another lockpick if I need it. But more importantly, there might be a door that leads outside, which is what I'm actually looking for at this point. And sure enough, after rooting through many, many bags and boxes of random vegetables, we come across a very hard door, and we can hear a puppy dog sniffing on the other side of it. And it's in a nice secluded position. Nobody's in the kitchen once everybody goes to bed. Jackpot. we now have access to the outside of the monastery. And while I don't do it now, that means I can now call my horse. So I now have access to my swords, my other weapons, my armor, and all of the lockpicks that I've got sitting on my horse at the moment, along with spare daggers and anything else that comes across that we might actually need. I think I've even got a couple of bottles of poison sitting around on that box and that horse as well. Basically, from now on, I have easy access, or at least nightly access, to everything that I need to wipe out whoever I want to kill inside of this place. So I don't have to worry about materials so much anymore, and I also have somewhere to move stuff out to. But before we can go about putting the blade into anybody, I really need to know who that target is supposed to be, so I make sure I kill the right person for a start. I also wouldn't mind completing up a couple of the missions inside here. Now that I have easy access to the outside, I'm not too concerned. So the next stop is the library, where there is a locked door, along with somebody who we've already knocked off our list. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, probably the same as you. I want to be able to read in peace and quiet, and not just the books they make us read. I'll focus on what I'm doing and you pretend you'll do the same, okay? Oh, I see. Well then. I'll just concentrate on what I'm doing and pretend you're not here. You do the same. As you wish. And if I could recommend some good reading to you, you'll find it in that locked cabinet. It's full of forbidden books. Until recently, it was still unlocked. But after something vanished, they've kept it locked tight. Maybe I could get inside. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'd love to pour over some of those tomes. We'd be in it together. Up to our ears, isn't it? What do you say? We'll see what I can do. Hmm. Yeah, I want to uh, get access to all of the fun places in here because I can now ship all of this downstairs and onto my horse before I leave. So when I make my getaway, I can make my getaway with all of the crap from inside this place as well. Neglecting my daily schedule. <laughs> I'm way beyond neglecting my daily schedule at this point. There. 
Gotcha. Why weren't you sleeping? What were you doing here? Hush. I want to struggle a little. Just meat. Just crap. Nothing interesting. Oh, there's somebody in there. Nope, 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 nope. Mother of God, what are you doing? Wretch. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I may have just been spotted, so I may be about to get myself in trouble again. Inventory. What have I got? Move the dagger. Move the marigold decorations. Page from the book will keep slippers and John's. It's weapons, armor. Come back for both of those later. Actually, no. I'll I'll take one lockpick with me. These lockpicks are worth too much for me to lose now. Where did I put them? There. No, just one. Now, what else did I have on me? Yep, the silver goblets can go as well, and Marathon 3 can go onto the horse as well. I'll read that later once I'm out of here. Alright, I think it's probably time for me to go to bed at this point. I'm pretty sure that was the boss man that spotted me. Sneaky, sneaky. And hopefully, I'm not going to get in trouble for that. We'll see. So, a good night's sleep, and once again, back at morning prayers. And I honestly thought maybe I had managed to get away with this one. No one come to get me through the night, nobody bothered me on my way to prayers, nobody bothered me all during prayers. It wasn't until everybody left. Alright, looks like it's just about time for me to go. I'm gonna guess... Brother. Oh, here we you go. You're somewhere you shouldn't have been. Don't you know your place? Don't you know where you're permitted to enter and where your presence is forbidden? I'm gonna kill you. Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that's not allowed in the monastery. He 
You're gonna lock me up again, aren't you? Again. The only reason you're still alive is that I haven't managed to identify the target that I want to kill first. The only reason you're still alive. So, for the second time, I have been locked up. And, once again, I'm not particularly happy about it. But, this time is a little bit different. I do now have access to the outside world. I did manage to save the equipment that I got in here. My dagger is still back down on the horse. And while I did lose a lockpick in the long run, which was unfortunate, I still have 25 more of them just outside that I can access as soon as everybody goes to bed tonight. I also managed to gather a hell of a lot of information today as well. I've managed to completely rule out one of the novices as a potential target. That leaves me with two. I've now found sufficient reason to kill all three of the cicadas, but only after I've ruined them with the information that I've found. And for the icing on the cake, I managed to find a whole bunch of the torn up book pages and a whole amount of information on treasures inside of this place, including the Necronomicon, that I want to collect for myself. It wasn't a bad day overall. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. Kingdom Come Deliverance will be returning into the channel very soon, and the next episode, it's going to get a little messy. Until next time, guys. Take care.